dear students of communicative english we are now in the process of revising whatever we have done so far and you got a lot of exercises towards the end of your textbook after all the lessons and these exercises give you a variety of idioms clichés all sorts of exercises that would improve your vocabulary and strengthen you in continuation with the earlier exercises we are now matching the words with the given caption that is fixing the register you got this exercise on page 145 of your textbook we've already completed a and b now section c subdivision c the title is adventure now when we say adventure we associate it with lots of brave and heroic actions so here you got lots of words and let us choose the words that are associated with this caption adventure now rash so if you're very rash your adventure may turn disastrous right so this is associated with adventure daredevil so daredevil you exhibit your heroism your bravery your vivacious personality your vibrant attitude so daredevil you are ready to take any risk there melodious melodious hasn't got anything to do with adventure it's a melodious music melodious song and so on so that word is ruled out hazardous hazardous causing danger endangering someone so if your adventure proves hazardous then it would be equally hazardous to you also so we hope that this word is not included here intelligent so that is something to do with knowledge alternative so you got to choose some alternative if one plan doesn't work out so this could be remotely associated with adventure risk of course this is very much associated with adventure because only when you are ready to face risks you will be able to accomplish your adventure successfully chances so you take chances so you dare everything you accept the challenges and you take chances fantasy so your adventure may lead you to a world of fantasy so fantasy is also equally important you imagine things and then you carry out your adventure like alice in wonderland then gallant gallant is associated with bravery so you're gallant you're bold you're courageous you're heroic then odyssey now is the chance for you to learn a new term odyssey is associated with adventure look at the meaning of odyssey a long wandering or voyage usually marked by many changes of fortune now before we discuss this word i want you to know a little bit about the history of this word now this is the explanation odysseus the hero of homer's odyssey the greek epic odyssey odysseus is the hero of this epic he spends 20 years traveling home from the trojan war you would have read about ulysses in your general english now this is associated with ulysses's adventures so odysseus he is the hero and he spends 20 years after the trojan war he comes back home he has astonishing adventures and learns a great deal about himself and the world naturally whenever you are on an adventure you learn a lot about various countries their governments the kingdom the culture the customs all practices carried out there he even descends to the underworld to talk to the dead that's why i said fantasy so you can never even imagine such things traveling underworld getting a chance to talk to the dead so that is something beyond our imagination thus an odyssey is any long complicated journey so remember it's not an easy journey it's filled with difficulties that is why you remember ulysses says we might be successful we might meet achilles or something might happen to us on the way so it's a complicated journey you're going to the unknown you're reaching the realms that have not been explored so far so often a quest for a goal and maybe a spiritual or psychological journey as well as an actual voyage so even a spiritual journey is termed an odyssey now for usage i just given you two instances his odyssey from rural south to urban north 
So it's a long journey connecting the two parts, south and north, from the south to the north. One is rural, village area. The other is urban, cosmopolitan, city. From poverty to affluence. So his odyssey, his long journey from poverty to affluence, wealth, richness. From Afro-American folk culture to a Eurocentric world of books. So that is how you use odyssey, the term, while explaining things. And look at the other explanation. An odyssey of self-discovery. So I analyze myself thoroughly, I find out all my faults, my behavior, my attitude and I discover all my qualities. So an odyssey of self-discovery. So I hope you would have understood the meaning of odyssey now. Therefore odyssey voyage is associated with adventure. Venture. Venture is any move that you make. So again this is equivalent to adventure. You venture to travel into unknown lands unknown areas, unnerved, you are not at all scared, you are not frightened, you are unnerved in spite of many odds. Confectionary, of course this has nothing to do with adventure. Pessimist, so you don't sulk and you don't remain an introvert without talking to others, that is not possible in an adventure. Heroic, of course, you exhibit your bravery, your courage, your enthusiasm to learn new things and to overcome all the hardships. So the words associated with adventure here are rash, daredevil, risk, chances, fantasy, gallant, odyssey, venture, unnerved and heroic. I hope you understood this children. Now next we move on to the next subdivision that is mystery. Now the moment I say mystery you can imagine something secretive, something frightening. All these words come to our mind. Now look at the words given here. Forensics, baffling, clue, horrific, division, destruction, memory, attractive, spelling, dark, vague, secretive, alibi. So I want you to learn the pronunciation of this word, alibi. I given the phonetic transcription there, so please learn to pronounce it correctly. Already we have learnt many terms associated with law in one of our lessons. So this is in connection with that lesson, it is alibi, specific, weird. Now let us move on and to analyzing the words one by one. Forensics, of course forensic signs, whenever a burglary has happened or a murder has taken place, immediately fingerprint experts rush to that area, use their forensics techniques. Of course there is a course called forensic signs. So you could even pursue that course after you finish your higher secondary. So forensics is connected with uncovering the mystery, finding out who the culprit is. Therefore it is associated with mystery. Baffling, so it is quite confusing. We do not know who the culprit is. So baffling, mysterious, it is associated with mystery. Clue, so when you go to the spot and analyze the situation thoroughly, carefully observing the scene, then you get clues as to who had committed the murder or the burglary or the robbery or any act there. Horrific, frightening. So naturally it is associated with mystery. Division, now division is different. Okay, it has nothing to do with mystery. Destruction, destruction is caused but it is not directly associated with mystery. Memory, so memory also you retain certain things in your memory. Attractive, mystery definitely it is puzzling, it is mind boggling, so it cannot be attractive there. Then spelling, of course spelling is different, it is connected with another genre. Then dark, the secret is very dark and apart from this darkness or dark something unknown, therefore dark is associated with mystery. Vague, something that is not at all clear, so you do not know who had committed that particular act, that crime, therefore it is vague. Secretive, so something must have been done very very secretively, that is why it is a mystery. Alibi, so here is the meaning for that word, a claim or piece of evidence that one was elsewhere when an act, typically a criminal one, is alleged to have taken place. So you think someone is responsible for the crime, but that person has a strong alibi, that person produces the plane ticket or like receipt from a hotel room saying that he was away from the scene of crime 
at that particular moment when the crime had taken place. So if the alibi is strong, you got every chances of escaping the scene or escaping punishment. So that is why lawyers keep looking very carefully at the alibi. So alibi is of course associated with mystery. Then specific, that's not very directly associated with mystery. Weird, something that is strange, something that you cannot imagine, something that is unusual. So the words associated with mystery are forensics, baffling, clue, horrific, dark, vague, secretive, alibi, weird. We move on to the next category, art. So art, fine arts, music, painting, drawing, all these things. Power, expertise, involvement, portrait, elimination, demonstration, union, complaint, masterpiece, pastoral, exhibits, imagery. Now power, of course, powerful is different, power is different, you have the power. Then expertise, there comes your technical expertise, the knowledge of presenting something in the form of an art, whether it's a dance program or whether it's some song that you sing or whether it's a painting, anything concerned with art. So expertise is associated with art. Involvement, so you've got to have involvement to produce something that is artistic. So you could include involvement also. Portrait, of course, it's a picture. So portrait is included. Elimination, that's not very directly included here. Demonstration. Demonstration, again the meaning varies. If you are staging a demonstration, if you are participating in something like uh, supporting something, then the meaning is different. If you are going to give a demo of all your artistic exhibits, then it is included here. Union, so again that is an organization. And complaint, if this does not match art. Masterpiece, of course, the best work, artistic work of someone, therefore this is associated with art. Pastoral, so greenery, connected with pastures, therefore this is also associated with art. Exhibits, so all your paintings or models are exhibited there, so it is related to art. Imagery, you produce beautiful imagery, you produce the link between things, show it in your artistic display. So the words connected with art are expertise, involvement, portrait, masterpiece, pastoral, exhibits and imagery. Now children when you learn all these words, these might seem easy to you, but when you learn these words, these will come very handy whenever you are going to write something creative, whenever you are going to present something, an essay or some write up or an article. So when you learn every word given in the text, that will definitely help you improve your vocabulary and produce the word at the right situation and make your writing very effective and impressive. So please do not neglect any exercise given in the text. All these are important, these might seem to be very easy and simple, but when you analyze these words, given words one by one, then you will understand the coherence, the link, the connection and you will be able to voice your ideas and thoughts in a better manner. F section F, literature. So I will just read out the words here. Genre epic, additional, renovation, epistle, folklore, regeneration, classical, exclusive, blank verse, activist, allergy. Now genre, genre that refers to a particular branch. So poems, poetry is one genre, novels is another genre. So you got different genres. So this is certainly associated with literature. Epic, so again epic is a lengthy writing and it gives you lots of details and it narrates so many stories, sub stories, so many incidents and events. The Ramayana and the Mahabharata are epics. So epic is definitely associated with literature. Additional, so you give additional something in addition to something. So that is not directly related here. Renovation. So you are going to reconstruct something. Now we come to the important word epistle. So it is a Greek word. It is a writing directed or sent to a person or a group of people. 
and is usually an elegant and formal didactic letter. So, epistle is nothing but a letter. So, this is associated with literature. You get so many letters written by so many famous personalities, all voicing their thoughts, their ideas, giving us useful and fruitful lessons. So, this is definitely associated with literature. Folklore, of course, it describes something belonging to a particular clan or culture or race. It could be in the form of action or in the form of writing. Regeneration, so building something again. Classical, so all old age, belonging to old age, belonging to the past. Classical, something that is very beautiful and withstands the test of time. It lasts forever, even now they are applicable. All are classical writers, they are remembered forever. Exclusive, exclusive is something that is specially meant for something else. Blank verse, William Shakespeare, he follows blank verse in many of his poems. So, blank verse, the words at the end of every line in a poem do not rhyme. D. H. Lawrence's snake is an example of this. So, blank verse, they do not rhyme, the ending words of each line do not rhyme. So, definitely this term is associated with literature. Activist, allergy. So, now let us choose the words that are associated with literature. Genre, epic, epistle, folklore, classical, blank verse. So, these are the terms associated with literature. We move on to lesson 2. This is a very, very interesting and informative exercise. Interesting because this is in the form of a crossword. So, I have given you the answers. So, your duty is to fix it in the crossword puzzle and see how well the words suit the context. So, it is a trial now. So, you can try it on your own and if you find some other words of the same link catering to the clues given here, you are free to use it and see whether they match or fit in in the boxes. Now, the first clue is school education for children after age 11. Remember, this word should contain 9 letters. Therefore, the answer is secondary. If you count the number of letters, you will see that they match the clue. So, after age 11, you are classified as secondary, studying the course in the secondary level. Then 3, school education for children aged 5 to 11. So, here the word should contain 7 letters. And therefore, 5 to 11, that is the initial stage. So, it is primary. The word is primary. Next, under number 5, the work of an engineer. So, mind you, 11 letters. So, what does an engineer do? He does the work of engineering. Therefore, that is your answer. Number 8, to go to a place, school or university. So, 6 letters. So, it could be abroad, right? Or you could even say pursue. So, it depends. Please fit it in the box and see which word suits it. Then someone who teaches. For number 11, it is someone who teaches. So, teacher exceeds the number of letters. Therefore, the word is tutor. T-U-T-O-R, 5 letters and that is the answer. The study of natural world like biology, physics and chemistry. So, here the answer is science. The study of treatment for illness. Medicine, you will see that it contains 8 letters. To complete a first university degree, that is graduate. So, I graduated in the year so and so. So, when you complete a first university degree, it is called graduate. After that, you got your postgraduate, doctorate and so on. To study a subject before a test, that is what we normally do. We revise a meeting of a group of people to discuss or study a subject that is a seminar. So, you meet together and you discuss something. So, all these clues were for across. And now for down, you got some clues. Number 1, a qualification given after completing a university course. So, whenever you complete a university course, you are awarded a degree. That is the answer, 6 letters. Number 4, group of subjects studied in a school or college or university. It is a curriculum. Number 6, the land that surrounds a college or university. So, that is called campus. 
within the campus, outside the campus and so on. 7. Related to subjects which involve thinking and studying skills. It could be analytic, it could be aptitude. Please check it. Number 9. The study of trade, money and industry. So that is economics. So check the number of letters. 10. A teacher in a university. So professor. A formal talk to a group of students. That is address. The person in charge of a school or college, principal. So I wish you good luck children. You please apply all these in the boxes and see whether they fit in and give you the complete crossword. Now we move on to listening. Already we have completed one half of this. So for every unit you got passages on listening. So please practice these. So here is a brief exercise in practicing this skill. So the title is Commentary on Republic Day Celebrations and Parade at New Delhi. Remember already I have completed some questions here. So the remaining part, fill in the blanks, the other two sections are being done now. So I will just read the passage once. You need not look at the screen. You could even close your eyes and listen to it because this is a listening passage. The Amar Jawan Jyoti commemorates the indomitable courage of our soldiers. And it is symbolized by a reversed rifle topped by a helmet. The Prime Minister is now laying the wreath on behalf of the country at the Amar Jawan Jyoti. The Inter-Services Guard of Honor gives the command to present the arms, the Salami Shastra, followed by the reversal of the arms, the Shok Shastra. Six buglers stationed there sounded the last post and a two minute silence is being observed. The completion of the silence is marked by sounding the rouse by the buglers. I will repeat this passage. Please listen intently. The Amar Jawan Jyoti commemorates the indomitable courage of our soldiers and it is symbolized by a reversed rifle topped by a helmet. The Prime Minister is now laying the wreath on behalf of the country at the Amar Jawan Jyoti. The Inter-Services Guard of Honor gives the command to present the arms, the Salami Shastra, followed by the reversal of the arms, the Shok Shastra. Six buglers stationed there sound the last post and a two-minute silence is being observed. The completion of the silence is marked by sounding the rouse by the buglers. Now let us look at the questions. You will see the questions there. So it is matched the following. So I have given you the answers. Reversed rifle topped by a helmet. So what does that do? That symbolizes the courage of the soldiers. Now look at your passage. Remember the first part? When I read it out, I said commemorates the indomitable courage of our soldiers and it is symbolized by a reverse rifle topped by a helmet. So here the question is reverse rifle topped by a helmet. So the answer is symbolizes the courage of the soldiers. In presenting the arms, Salami Shastra. So presenting the arms. So the inter-services guard of honor gives the command to present the arms, the Salami Shastra. Therefore the answer is Salami Shastra. Sounding the rouse. So what does it do here? Towards the end of the passage you got the sentence. The completion of the silence is marked by sounding the rouse by the buglers. Therefore, sounding the rouse is completion of two minutes silence. And then you got reversal of the arms. So, where do you find it in the passage here? Reversal of arms followed by the reversal of the arms, the Shok Shastra. So, the correct answer is Shok Shastra. Prime Minister lays the wreath at, so you got to pick out the answer here. So where do you get it here? The Prime Minister, second para, is now laying the wreath on behalf of the country at the Amar Jawan Jyoti. Therefore, the correct answer when you match is Amar Jawan Jyoti. So please listen intently children so that you would be able to match the answers correctly. Now we move on to the next part of this passage. I will read it out again. We now see the Honourable President of our country arriving ceremoniously 
led by the president's bodyguard. The president's bodyguard personnel are all hand-picked, well-trained horsemen, paratroopers and tankmen. The honorable president is led to hoist the national flag. The president is now giving the highest gallantry awards and medals to the kin of martyrs. Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan and Padma Shri are given to eminent personalities from various fields such as literature, education, art, sports, social work, medicine, science, engineering, civil services, public affairs, trade and industry. Bravery awards to children are given for exhibiting courage and valour. The customary grand parade has started and is moving ceremoniously in colourful attires. The different tableaus, so here you get a new word, tableau, I will come back to it later. The different tableaus are showcasing the country's progress in different fields. And here comes the newly formed All Women Bikes Contingent, the 27 member BSF women Daredevil Squad named Seema Bhavani showcasing their stunts and acrobatics on their 350cc Royal Enfield Bullet Motorcycles. After the mesmerizing performance of the BSF women, here are the children from various schools in Delhi and 700 students across the guest countries performing on the power of education. A real feast to the eyes. A few of the parade's highlights are the BSF Camel Band, the Musical Band of the Army, Navy, Air Force and the DRDO Subsonic Cruise Missile Tableau, the Rudra Formation, the Hercules Formation, Netra Global Formation and several other formations by Air Force mark the culmination of the Republic Day Parade, ending with a stupendous fly past by the jets and helicopters carrying the national flag and the flags of the three services. Now this is a beautiful passage describing the entire incident, all the happenings there. You got fill in the blanks for this. So we will have to redo this again in the next class. In the meantime, I give you some time to go through the passage and fix your answers. So when we meet again, I shall give you the answers and you can check it up. These are all direct answers. But only thing is, it seems easy because we have the passage printed. If it is not printed, then all your concentration and focus, they are essential. Because only when you listen intently, the moment you see the question, you will be able to pick out the answer and write it there. So here you don't have multiple choice, there are only fill in the blanks here. So please listen carefully. I shall read it once again in the next session and you please fill it up. In the meantime, you could go through this and have a clear idea of the questions there. So this is only for practice, therefore you can go through the questions now. But please practice similar passages with your friends, with your relations, with your parents and so on. So I wish you all the best children. I hope you revise well and pay attention to every minute information. Thank you.